I'm Brian for Surfcast Journal, and I caught crabs. Look at this guy. This guy's ready to fucking go right here. Alright, Brock. Look at the crabs. There's a ton of people here. Let's see if we can make this happen. At the not so secret spot. bait in the water. All right, we got one. <laughs> Beauty. Look. Oh, yeah. All right, numero dos. Two down. Come to Papa. Doing pretty good here. So the current situation is, is that I've got waders on and I'm standing. Bridge and everyone else. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Everyone else is standing on the bridge. They've got their way, I've got mine. That's a baby. That's a baby. Pick your shots. Holy shit. Yo, yo, did you see that? That was a bass that just popped on a crab. Like 12 or 13. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Did you see it? It happened again. All right, that's good. Look at that. Good bounty. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do a Long Island crab and corn boil. All right. All right, fucking girl. Nice. Let's go up, let's go up to the, let's go up to the marsh, empty it out. That was good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hanging on for dear life. You say she was working so it's fucking good. That one like flipped himself inside. Oh. Uh -huh. Come on, buddy. Okay. 
Okay. Watch that claw. They'll fucking, they'll fucking wreck your day. They'll get you. They'll get you. It's like not even hanging out with one of the elbows. This guy's in tight. This guy's in real tight. You're so cute, but you're so delicious. <laughs> Oh, I heard the splash behind me. You hear that? Mm -hmm. That's bass back there. All right, you. Take it easy. You hear that? Yeah. Bass are going do. crazy back going there. Crazy. Well, like I could hear them. I just couldn't see them. Those are big splashes. All right, cool. There it is. That's great. That's perfect. Beautiful. Lock them up. Nice work. High five. <laughs> that was great. these guys that'll be good and then uh get a little ice we'll throw some ice on top of them just like that perfect boy you hear that owl yeah I do. that's a big owl that's a big owl <laughs> <laughs> Hi. All right, so corn. Let's get uh, let's get four. This one feels pretty good. More tomatoes? Yeah, let's get more tomatoes. Might as well. How you doing today? Good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, so here we are. Um, we have all our ingredients. Um, to make our boil. Ever since I was a kid, I've gone out every late summer to catch some blue claws with my family. Uh, when I was a small child, we used to take our boat out and cruise around at night with spotlights and the net and scoop them up. Uh, when we docked, we used to do the uh, whole chicken leg method but to catch crabs. But anyway, um, I've been doing this my entire life and it's a really exciting time of year. Uh, this uh, particular season has been really great for blue claws, um, especially in my area. And the other really exciting thing is that at the same time, the uh, local produce is as good as it ever gets. So what we're going to do is we're going to put together a Long Island blue claw and corn boil. All right, so for our recipe, we've got our blue claws, we've got our local corn, some garlic, celery, onion, we've got some pebble potatoes, we're gonna steam it up with some Brooklyn Lager and we're gonna spice it up with some Old Bay. All right, so let's get after it.
All right, so first things first, we're gonna get our boil started. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our beer and pour it right in. We're gonna turn, turn the stove on to high, because it's a boil. Next, we want to season the beer with Old Bay. I like to do two generous tablespoons of Old Bay. And once it comes to a boil, we'll throw in our potatoes. All right, so now that we're at the boil, we're gonna throw in our potatoes. Celery, onion, and whole garlic cloves. So now that the potatoes, celery, onion, and garlic are in, we're going to let that cook for 10 minutes before we throw in the crabs. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, and now we're going to we're going to load in our crabs. Um, I would suggest, I would highly recommend that you throw in the feistier crabs first because if you put them in last, they could jump out of the pot, they're already pissed, and if they're scurrying all over your house, they're going to bite your kids and they're going to pinch your toes and you don't want that. So we are going to load in the crabs, Jesus, guys are so angry. This guy, this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I... Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So we're going to load in the crabs and then we're going to put the corn on top. Since the corn is in season, it is so sweet. I mean, you could basically, you can eat it raw, so it doesn't really need to cook for very long. But what the corn will do is sweeten everything up. I got to act fast. These guys, these guys are on the move. These guys are on the move. So, you can see I'm getting a little bit of that beach grass in there. That's fine. That's totally fine. It's actually... It's actually edible, so... It'll add to it, you know? All local shit. Alright, so... That's that. That's good. Crabs are in. Corn's going in on top. To weigh the crabs down. Just like that. Perfect. We're gonna cap it up and we're gonna let this steam out for 10 minutes. All right, so our boil's done. So now I'm removing the corn. Oh, this looks great. So exciting. So beautiful. All right, so the crabs are done. So basically what I'm doing is I'm separating the corn and potatoes from the crabs. And uh, there is a very important purpose to this. So a lot of times when you get crab, it's seasoned and it has the shell on. So the seasoning stays on the outside of the shell, you end up cracking through to the meat and you really can't taste the seasoning. And I really don't like that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the top shell from the crab to expose the meat and then we're going to dust it in a little bit more Old Bay uh, this way it tastes like something so that's great all that's removed got our corn potatoes are nice and soft what I like to 
do is I like to strain the potatoes um, through a colander into a bowl keeping the liquor that's in the pot. Now the liquor uh, refers to the liquid that's left over from cooking the crabs. Um, so, beautiful, just like that. Excellent. So, in order to clean the crabs for what we want to uh, achieve today is you just take the shell from the back and you peel it right off, right from the back of the crab, and you lift it right off. This way it exposes all of the meat, just like that. Now, if you like any of this stuff inside of the shell, which I do, I mean, by all means, keep it and you can scoop it out with a spoon. But removing the shell allows you to access all of the meat. And uh, we'll be removing the lungs here, just like this. See? and then we'll dust the crab with a little bit more Old Bay. All right, very easy. Uh, something really cool I just noticed when I cleaned this crab, it was about to molt. I removed the shell to find the new shell that was forming underneath. Really, really cool. Just thought I'd share that with you. How cool is that? It's going to be delicious. All right, so now that the crabs are clean, I'm going to give them a dusting of Old Bay, just like that. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I've been snacking on these things as I've been cleaning them. So good. All right, so there you have it. Check that out. Beautiful. Time to eat. Cheers. Mm. All right. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Crab is my favorite. I'm here for the corn. Mm. <laughs> You're here for the corn? Yeah. I've always preferred crab over lobster. Well, lobster's all right, but crab is just so sweet. I'm totally a crab guy. I know some people will kill me when I say this, but like, I'm also a clam guy, like mm -hmm. clams on the half shell. Yeah. Like I definitely prefer. To oysters. Yeah, to oysters, for sure. Oh, this is so good. This is also the crab that pinched me. So this is like, tastes extra good. <laughs> <clears throat> I love how the old bay crusts all over the crab. And then you could just taste it on the meat because it, you know, it's steamed in there. Mm-hmm. It's like an extra element. <clears throat> yeah, it's so great. That's a great piece. Mm. Mm, so good. I just like when it gets all over your fingers and you're like eating the crab and licking your fingers and the old bay is everywhere. And... Yeah, because, you know, licking your fingers is definitely like, mm -hmm. it's a part of the meal, you know? It's like a part of the whole experience mm -hmm. mm. all right folks so there you have it long island crab and corn boil is a success 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm having a really good time putting them together. Um, mm, excuse me. I had to eat it. <laughs> mm. Mm, so good. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Surfcast Journal, out.